going on guys ej here bringing you another daily shave so really excited about this something new in the den and a new offering from west coast shaving this is their new shaving soap and this right here is their barbershop shaving soap this is one out of 10 new scents for their lineup this right here is made from from peter Sharkalis from a and e and the shaving shop club and this is a beef tallow shave soap. And let me tell you, for the barbershop in the description, it's a hint of citrus, florals, and talc. But also to my nose, you're getting a little hit of leather, like the leather chair that you'd get from a very classic barbershop. Classic, modern, all-in-one tub. And it's phenomenal smell right here. Mm. So we're going to go ahead and use this today. The shave soap. We're gonna go ahead and roll with the West Coast Shaving Liberty Razor, and this one is the slant right here. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. For the brush, I have it soaking right now. It's going to be the custom made turn and, sh turn and shave brush right here with a black badger knot that's been soaking right here with a nice barber pole handle. And then I have some hot water in the bowl so I can lather it up and keep it warm. A nice barber shop bowl right here. And then as an added bonus, we're going to go ahead and also use the matching aftershave. And this is skin food right here. So this is going to be, this is going to be a real treat. If it's anything an offering from Peter Sharkalis, I, this is going to be a great shave. We'll go ahead, put your face really quick, get it nice and hydrated. So I'm not going to bloom the soap. <clears throat> I'm just going to see how it does well out of the tub. Knock out the water from the bowl real quick. Place it down. And I forgot to mention the blade loaded inside the razor is a Astra Green blade. And so really quick, the texture is semi-soft, the tub, the soap, so... It's okay to load from here. If it was really soft, I'd recommend scooping it out, but this will do just fine. So, I'm just gonna just load it like I hate it. And so let me tell you, scent strength out of the tub. Usually Peter's soaps are pretty strong, but I think for the West Coast shaving line, they just kind of wanted to take it back just a little bit. This right here, I would probably give it about a six and it goes to about a seven once lathered. So, I mean, you still smell it, but it's not as in your face as some of, you know, the other offerings that Peter does for his soaps. But right here, I'm gonna stop right there because we have a very full, phenomenal load right there. Here goes the bolt. And the lather is very, very thick, as expected. And it can take on water, most definitely. Add just a couple more droplets of water. So, going on to the skin, as expected, very nice, very thick, creamy lather. If you're face lathering, um, at least for my method, you know me, I like to go dry, make it like a spackle almost, like a, kind of like a almost dry paint, and then you add water slowly.
All right, that was great. You guys, I'm pretty sure the camera's bringing it in, but you see that nice sheen that's going on with the lather. So we know that this is well hydrated. Here we go. I mean, this soap checks off All the boxes of an excellent shave soap. Very thick, creamy, and slick. Everything you can ask for in a soap. And it's pretty cool seeing a brand new offering from West Coast Shaving, you know? It's been a while. And right away, I can tell Ladder, um, that you can definitely just rinse out your face and well, I'll do that I'll do the first pass the second pass I'll just use residual slickness and then I'll lather up for the third and final pass so this soap will be excellent for Buffer passes if you need to go over a few spots. So there goes that one. We're just gonna wet the face, all right? Just move around a little bit of the lather that's remaining on the face right here. So we see a little bit of soap. We're just gonna go ahead, I have some warm water in my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and just work that in really fast. And then we're gonna go across the grain. Excellent. I'm going to wet the face one more time. <clears throat> Lather up really quick. And just so you know, I don't even think that was a 30 second load and I have like plenty of lather. So with this soap, honestly, I just probably recommend, if you were to count, normally don't speed it up, 15 seconds, you'll have more than enough for your shave, that's for sure. I mean, hey, it's your shave, so you can do it your way, I'm not telling you how to do it, but I can just tell you right now, the way this soap is performing and how much you're getting off of it, I believe 30 seconds for this soap, at least, is overkill. And you know me, I try to uh, thin out the lather for the last pass, so I did the best I could, but like I said, since the soap can take on water, it would get take a few minutes to kind of thin it out the way I want to. So, but this is plenty, this is plenty slick, honestly. This this is this will suffice. Smooth.
So right away, upon rinsing up the soap, you wouldn't need a pro a poche product, but let me tell you, like that would just take out all the foot out of this. But however, my skin feels great. it out smooth you can run your fingers across your face and not feel that that pull that drag that some soaps or creams may give to you you're not gonna get that here so that was great so this this software in particular just falls into that category where this right here will perform very well for you so this is one of the dynamics that will make your shaves much 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 better this soap is excellent right here so, real quick, the star of the show from the new lineup, this is West Coast Shaving Barbershop. Excellent stuff right here. We used the custom turn and shave badger brush with a barbershop shaving bowl. We used the West Coast Shaving Liberty razor right here with the slant head and an Asher green blade. And then we're just going to go ahead and just top it off with the aftershave. So with the aftershave, it's a little more citrus forward with this one. But we're going to see how the dry down goes real quick. And since this is skin food, right, let me see the ingredients. Aloe vera. Okay, so that's why. So you're really not going to feel the burn too much because it's not alcohol based. So it, this absorbs into your skin very, very nicely, and it won't give you a burn. You'll feel a little tingle here and there, but nothing unbearable. So, mm. so this one right here is definitely more citrus, citrus heavy up front. But as we're gonna do the dry down, we're gonna see how the notes develop as we air out the splash. Well, towel fell. So. Upon the dry down, I am picking up the talc now. The talc more is more predominant now. Like you still get the citrus, but now it's kind of taking a back seat. And the talc is right there and hints of floral right there. I'm not getting the leather in this one as I would with the soap, but maybe that's just my nose. <clears throat> but overall, excellent shave. No cuts, no weepers all around smooth shave. So, as I always say, thank you West Coast Shaving for having me, having me here, but a bigger thank you, the viewer. Take care and I will see everybody next time.